my name is Prajeet. Today, I'm going to explain you about reflection and refraction. First, let's, let's look about reflection. When light, it's an object or an image, and it bounces back, that's called reflection. Let's learn some basic terms. So I'm taking a torchlight and I'm pointing at a mirror and when it hits the mirror, the ray or the beam which hits the mirror, it's called the line of incidence. And when it bounces from the bounces from the mirror, it's called the line of reflection. So let's now, um, so let's make a imaginary line in between the mirror. So let it, um, it's called the normal. In the starting of normal, it is the point of incidence. The angle between the line of incidence and the normal is the angle of the incident ray. The angle between normal and the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection. There are two types of reflection. Reg regular reflection and irregular reflection or scattered reflection. First, let's look about regular reflection. For example, I'm taking a torch and pointing it the mirror, the incidence ray on the angle of the incidence ray and the angle of the reflection ray will be the same. Will be the same. For example, just example, um, when I am meeting the torch light at an ang um, angle of 50 degrees, the incidence ray will be 50 degrees. And if the reflection ray um, um, line of reflection on um, the reflection ray is also 50 degrees angle it is called a regular reflection now let's look about irregular reflection um, for example for irregular or irregular or scatter the examples are wall humans bed curtains etc so if if I take a paper and if I point the torch light on the incident um and the incidence ray and the reflect the reflected ray will not be the same. For example, I'm again pointing at the paper um of the degree of fifty degrees the incidence ray of the incidence ray, the reflected ray will not be in fifty degrees. Because when you look at the paper in a microscope, it is it is rough, so the angles will change. So that's why it is scattered. It's scattered, so it's called as irregular and scattered reflection. So now let's look about refraction. So let's start with the example. When you go to a pool, pond, or lake. When you see the water, it is shallow, but the actual varies is, is different because light moves faster in air. The velocity of the light in air is very fast, so it goes straight. So when it hits the water, the velocity on um, the dense of the water is very dense so the velocity of light in water decreases and it looks bent so it is called refraction i'll show you i'll tell you another example when you go to a clear water lake you can say you can see fish 
so the fish is not in the exact position on position because light light velocity is faster in air so it goes straight so if it it's the water example this is the water if it it's the water it slows down and goes bent so the light penetrates and the water is dense so it bends and the fish will appear and not in the exact position because the fish the, fish, the normal fish is like if this is the um the fish you can see the actual fish is here so um now i'm going to show you a real time example so take a transparent glass or a bottle take a pencil and put it in the transparent glass or bottle you can see that the pencil is broken but we know that the pencil is not broken so that means the light is the light is penetrating so this is refra refraction so this is until this until the bend it is called the incidence ray and at the correct point where it's bending it's called the point of incidence and at the end it is the after the breaking after the breaking or bending it is called the reflected ray so now let's think of a imaginary line which passes through the point of incidence so if you see that the angle of incidence on the angle of reflect um, refracted is not same so it is called refraction now i have cut out a arrow and i have a bottle filled with water what happens if i put it in front of the arrow comments below quickly okay 5 4 3 2 1 now i will show you what happens oh it turns around because the when the light penetrates it has no boundaries it's spherical so the light turns around and the image will form the other direction so what happens if i put it the other way see it doesn't change directions because it has boundaries it has boundaries so thus we cannot see it turned around but if it goes like this it will be the same so thus the image did not turn around because it has boundaries thank you for watching like share comment and subscribe thank you